PC Sims, and do we are back with more Nameless. We're in you know's route, so we're actually in his chapter. So, anyway, I'm a bit pissed. After fifth period during recess, Soy told me. At what? Soy frowned and continued. The atmosphere. I heard you were with Yinho by yourself during lunch today. Oh, that. I heard some girls say. I heard some girls saying talking. I heard some girls talking about how you already, how you have sneaky feeling. Wait, I heard some girls talking about how you have sneaky feelings for the check. Do I look like I have sneaky feelings? That's so wrong. Yinho is the one who came to me during lunch. But if I say that, Yinho would look bad. So I didn't say anything. Ahem. Anyways, I know nothing happened between the two of you, but you're going to get in trouble around here if you're close to the hot five. It's nothing. Yinho didn't have anything to eat, so I shared my lunch. And Yinho showed me his fairy tale book. Fairy tale book? The one he got from some girl earlier? Yeah. I thought that was a joke, but showing it to you... Anyways, I get that nothing happened, but just be careful. A girl gets dangerous when she gets jealous. If there's something bothering you, just if there's I think it's supposed to be if there's someone bothering you, just come to us. Yeah. We can search for a solution together. Soy was unlike herself and talked seriously. It shouldn't be added kindly. It seems like these when I feel they're actually my friends. Thanks, I will. I told them not to worry. I didn't want to make my friends worry. I take the limit of school, but I take the bus back home. The bus is hell. <sighs> I'm back. I took off my shoes. The day has ended without any trouble. Oh, you're here. Come in, my honey. Everyone's early. Huh, where's T? T is working. He gets off work late today. Oh, right. Yeah, I totally forgot. Once a week, he gets off late. I went into the living room, but felt something missing. The blonde boy running towards me, saying, Master, where's Yinho? Yellow's not here yet. He's in your class. I thought he was coming with you. Hmm. I feel a bit worried, so I should call him. He usually gets home before I do. I don't think he said he was going anywhere else with the girls after class. I got out my smartphone to call him. Oh, Yinho sent me a text. My phone was in the bag, so I didn't know. Uh... I'll be a lit... Master, I'll be a bit late today. Don't worry. A text? Is it from Yellow? Yeah, we text each other a lot. Ugh. He's still too young to know what the quickest way to a woman's heart is not by texting, but calling. Let's not ask how many girls are in Yuri's phone book. Lance, you don't text? I do not. I do not want to waste my time on such useless things. And a cell phone is primarily for calling. All right. Cold as usual. He talks like an old man. I'm glad I don't sound like the oldest here. And hearing what both of them said, Lance sighed as if he gave up. I laughed at the familiar scene. If you know we're here, we'd have fervently chatted about Twinter, too. Then I should go do my homework. I'll just eat dinner quickly since tea's late. I headed to my room. Finally finished. I finally finished all my homework for the academy. I normally don't finish all my homework, but since exams are near, I felt nervous. I looked at the clock, and it was 11. I thought I'd finish homework earlier, but it took longer than I expected. Jesus. Can you have 11 o'clock at night? You're still doing fucking homework? Oh, you know, still hasn't come yet? He said it'll be late, but this was way too late. Oh, this was too late. At this out, this out at this hour? I'm getting worried. Should I call him? Huh. I thought I heard the front door open. I went to the living room thinking it might be Yinho. Today was seriously hell. Full all day. Uh, there were a lot of customers today. I thought weekdays were more relaxed. Well, there were more people than last week. The manager was really happy. I should have asked for a raise if I knew this was going to happen. Huh. You two got here together? T and Yinho came in together. What happened? Master, I'm back! Yino came running straight to me. I finally felt less empty. I felt a bit weird when Yinho wasn't here to come running towards me when I came back home. Like a puppy. 
T, did you take the puppy out for a walk? Did he pedal right? <laughs> you know came to the cafe today. You know did? I let go of the arms hugging me and looked at Yinho. Master, this. Yinho held out a small cake box. This is... Carrot cake. You like this, Master, right? They made it today so it's fresh. It'll be good for sure. Huh? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I took the cake. You were at Banjul until pretty late. Did you wait for tea to get off work? Yeah, I ended up waiting. Did you know like Banjul too? I looked at T, but he gave me his usual smile. <laughs> it's okay, thanks for watching him, Dad. Or, you know, Mom. He's the mom. Then I'll go get ready for bed. T headed to his room. Master, should I take the cake to your room? Huh? Oh, should I eat it while writing in my diary? You're going to write in your diary now, right? Then how about eating this while you write? You know, said if he just read my thoughts. Oh, yeah kind of dumbfounded to see him be so kind. Go and rest now. I'll bring the cake. Yino took the cake box in my hand and went to the kitchen. I'm glad Yino came back safe. I was about to get worried. And an unexpected gift. I smiled at seeing Yino carefully put the cake on a plate. I should thank him properly when, it brings it to my room, when he brings it to my room. I opened my diary and wrote down the things that happened today. Let's see, what else happened? I thought hard and wrote everything down. When I was almost finished, I heard a knock at the door. Master, I'm coming in. As expected, I heard Yinho's voice. The door in opened and Yinho came in. Master, I brought you cake. Oh, okay. Yinho came to my side and laid down the plate and fork. And I also brought you a cup of tea. I brought it from Banjul. It's raspberry flavor. The sweet scent fills the room. This is really perfect. And, you know, cut the end of the cake with the fork. Here, master. The tip of the fork was in front of my lips. Is he trying to feed me? A bit embarrassing. Uh, I'll do it myself. I don't refuse. Say, ah. Uh... You know, push the fork a bit forward. It was a bit embarrassing, but I opened my mouth. It's good. The sweet carrot scent spread in my mouth. Well, I would think the taste spreads in your mouth, but okay. He, I know, right? The carrot cake is really popular. It tastes sweeter than usual. Maybe because your heart's in it. Uh, you know, bashfully blushed. Was it because of the sweet cake? I could say the things I was too shy to say. It is embarrassing, but it's true. Master, you know, stared into my eyes. Yeah? Master, um, am I good? What? I wondered if Master thinks... I'm good. <laughs> what kind of question is that? You know, everyone know, everyone who knows you likes you. Of course, including me. Really? Kino just stared at me. Although he just brought the cake and a cup of tea right in front of me, he asked me if he's good. You're a very kind and sweet person. I didn't know you'd bring cake. I wasn't expecting it. I was really surprised. I looked him in the eye, thinking this is the time to properly thank him. Thank you so much for the cake. I'm so happy that you cared. I thanked him while looking into his eyes. Happy. Hmm? Master, you're happy because I brought you cake, right? Right? Of course. Of course I'm happy that you brought it for me. I nodded and said, Master, y you know, why is he suddenly about to cry? Did I say something bad? That that mustn't be it. You know what? I'll be better. I'll be kinder. You you don't have Oh, you don't have to, so don't cry. You're good enough already. I really like Master. More than anything in the world. No, the universe. So I can do anything if Master wants me to. Whatever that may be. I, it's a good thing he didn't come to life for the other master, because good lord, the horrible things that that woman would do to this poor thing. So always smile at me like you're doing now. I'd do anything to have you by my side. He's got such abandonment issues, this poor thing. Y you know, I feel touched to hear, y to hear Yinho's dramatic words. I feel so bad for him. Like, 
it's the but it's the mothering thing like i don't feel like oh my god there's just but it's so sad the poor you do you just want to take care of him he is he's like a little fluffy chick oh my god you're so helpless in the world and i just want to take care of you because you can't be a real chicken yet you're too little to be a chicken you can't oh the chicken worries shouldn't be on you tiny fluffy little chicken little baby chick and like that he was so abused that he's so traumatized obsessive but traumatized i didn't know he thought of me that much but come to think of it you know was always trying for me he's always nice and caring to me you know is a really good boy that sounds like you're talking about a dog. If Master can smile, my body can be smashed, burned, and turned to ashes. What? I doubted my ears at what I just heard. What? Did you just... I looked surprised at Yinho, but he grinned. Now, Master, eat the rest of this. He took the fork again and cut the carrot cake. I ate the carrot cake he fed me and thought about what he just said. What was it he just said? Oop, I'm gonna say right there. Theme park, yay! Ah, uh, Yinho, what should you wear today? I like you better than Alicia or Lena, Yinho. So I'm assuming Alicia and Lena. Well, see, that's weird. So when we went to the store with Soy and Shinbi, they were like, "Oh, all these, all these guys are dolls or guys." So me. I was assuming that they had, like, male and female dozen. She just collects the boys. You know what I mean? Like, that's just her thing. Um, not that Kroby doll only makes boy dolls. You know what I mean? So, I'm assuming Alicia and Lena, because those are girl names, so I'm just assuming then Kroby doll does make female dolls, but I don't know. It was just weird because now, because that's, I, I mean, I just made the assumption that they made everything. And then when we took Soy and Shinbi, they were like, oh, these guys don't like, and it was like, oh, are they only like male dolls? Because that's odd, you know? Because most people that collect doll, your dolls are usually, you usually think of them. I mean, that would, they would have like a whole, they would have their whole niche thing because most dolls that people collect are females. They usually sometimes they'll have like male dolls or like boy dolls, like whatever. But it's usually like, like, look, at if you go down the Barbie aisle, it's like 98% Barbie and like 2% Ken, right? Like, he's just a, he's just a piece of, he's like a fucking accessory for Barbie is what he is. So it'd just be really weird if like a doll maker was like, let's just do all guy dolls. Like fashion, man fashion dolls. Don't get me wrong. It wouldn't be bad for Ken to have like half the fashion sense the Barbie had, right? Like. Without being extremely gay, but still, I mean, even if he was, Barbie needs a gay best friend, right? But I just, so it was just weird. So now obviously they do have female dolls. So I don't know, maybe Soy was just distracted by all the man dolls and didn't notice that there were women dolls. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I like you better than Alicia or Lena Yinho. Now I'll let you sit on the highest place so we can always see each other's eyes. I don't remember the voice I gave her the last time, but hmm. Why are you avoiding my eyes? Avoiding my eyes, you bad boy. Why are you refusing me? Why? I can love you forever if you stay good. Why are you betraying me again? Ha! <laughs> so I'm just confused why she sold Yinho. Was she just so over... I'm gonna sell you because... Like, to hurt his feelings? Because he hurt her feelings? He's a doll. But, I mean, as we know, he obviously had a soul, and it did hurt his feelings. So, I mean, her ploy worked. But, I mean, that's just a horrifying. God. <sighs> I'm really getting on. <sighs> I had a good sleep. Today's the weekend, so I slept in a bit. I still felt a bit spacey from sleeping so much. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Funny. Ah, uh, today again. I saw the carrot cake at the corner of my desk. After that day, Yinho headed, headed to Banjul every day after school. He repeated coming home late with tea after he finished work. 
T used to come home, come early some days, but for some reason he was always late too. The cake box Yinho's holding every time he comes home. He always brought carrot cake from Banjul. At the third day, I asked T if something was going on, but T told me it was nothing. Why does Yinho wait until the cafe closes and bring back carrot cake? I asked Yinho why he goes to Banjul, but he just said because he likes to. Is he waiting for the cafe to close so he can bring the cake? I should go to Banjul when I get the chance. I have to check why Yinho heads there every day. He used to hang out with the other girls after school, but nowadays he doesn't pay attention to them as much. Oh god, oh my god, wait. Oh my god, you know! Okay, that was that. Master, you turned off your lights. Hee <laughs> hee, sweet dreams. Master, I like you so much. I hope morning comes quickly. You're warm, right? I really want to go check, but I won't. Thank you for enjoying the carrot cake, Master. I'll bring another piece tomorrow. That was all apparently that night. Master, I want to ditch school and just be with you. Master, look forward to the rabbit-shaped fried eggs today. Today's weather is good. I saw a bird on the window seal this morning. I'm at the convenience store. I'll get some milk. What a crazy bitch. Ugh, so many today as usual. I know, this is when you're like, okay, we need to like... What? You freaking out because there's birds outside, buddy? Yeah, there's a lot. there's bird, definitely birds in the trees, but he keeps flying around in circles trying to catch their attention. They don't want to play with you because you're not a real bird. I know. I know it's, hard, it's hurtful, but they're real birds. They live outside. And you're a dainty little colorful bird who lives inside. <laughs> I'm so mean to him. I tell him he's not a real bird because he's like, because he's a pet. <laughs> oh, poor bird. My smartphone was full of text from Yinho. Another one of Yinho's habits along with the carrot cake. Reporting everything that happens in his day. Today's weather is good. I saw a bird on the windowsill this morning. I'm in the convenience store. I'll get milk and other mundane daily things. Sometimes when I reply, some things like, yeah, today's weather is really good. He gets more excited and texts me more like a kid who just got a toy as a gift. Sometimes the texts become bothersome, but it wasn't as if they were troubling, so I let Yinho do whatever he wanted to. He'll get tired of it soon and stop, I guess. No, he'll just get creepy. Oh, Master, are you awake? I was just about to go and wake you. I slept so much I woke up by myself. It's my happiness to wake you up. I'm disappointed. I get up by myself on the weekends, but I can't get up if you don't wake me during the weekdays now. Since you always wake me up. I smiled at Yinho. <laughs> Yinho smiled too. Oh, Master, I'll get your breakfast ready. Come to the kitchen when you're ready. Usually tea cooks breakfast, but Yinho's been taking over a lot these days. Okay, all right. Here, Master, go ahead. Yinho put rabbit-shaped fried eggs and toast in front of me. One side were butter and jam aligned neatly. On one side were butter and jam aligned neatly. Along with the tax and carrot cake, I see this every morning. Still artfully done. When does Yenho wake up to make all this in the morning? I'm glad I get to eat warm eggs in the morning, but isn't this too much for him to do? I told him he doesn't have to make the rabbit-shaped fried eggs anymore, but he told me it's fine since it doesn't take much time. Also, it's kind of like, you know what, maybe I don't want eggs every motherfucking morning, Jesus. What are y'all doing today? I'm going to do the laundry. The weather's nice. Oh, God, you're such the dad. What are you kids going to do today? I'm going to do the laundry because it's a nice day out. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm going to the arcade with my friends. Picking the best player today. I smirked at what Red said. Mm, all the young souls could go out and play. I'm going to rest here. My face is getting dry from all the exhaustion. I have to rest today if I'm to see other roses tomorrow. Yuri, if you stay here, I will obviously be able to focus. So I'll have to go to the library. The library? A place I've never even set foot on. And I probably never will. The exams are coming soon, so... Ugh! I groaned without knowing. The exams. They aren't imminent, but still. They feel gloomy already. Lance is really incredible! Hey, Master. Yeah? If you don't have any plans for today, you know who spoke hesitantly. Can you go somewhere with me? There's a place I'd like to go. Today? 
You know nodded. The place Yino wants to go. Is it a dessert cafe or something? I don't have any plans, and there's no reason to say no. C can't we? Besides, I can't refuse when he asks with that cute face. Seriously, bird? Like, he just jumped from the arm of the couch to the pillow, and it's like... Not even six, maybe seven inches. And he literally just, like, throws his body. He doesn't know how to jump well. He just, like, throws his body and just, like, plump, pull. It's just like a thunk. Like, throw your whole body weight. You should be a little bit more delicate than that, you fat ass. He does that, too, when he jumps on your chest. It's like, it feels like a 20-pound weight just got slammed into you. And he's just little. But it's like, Ugh! You're like, oh, God. <laughs> like, the full force. Full force bird. He's like a little projectile. Fucking asshole. You're so cute. I love you. Boop. Uh, besides, I can't refuse when he's asking with that cute face. That's exactly how I feel about my bird. He looks at me and he's like, oh, God damn it. Okay, all right. Really? Yay! So, where are we going? He, you'll know when we get there. That sounds creepy. I read that creepy. You know, was so excited he barely ate. Where's he taking me? I couldn't even guess. I know! Because that's the title of the episode. Bus number 72. You know, so while looking at a piece of paper that I guess told the directions. Hmm, I won't ask where we're going. But could you just tell me if it's far? I knew he wouldn't answer if I asked where we're going, so I asked him something he would tell me. It's a little bit far. Oh, we can come back by today. I see. It's still pretty far since you mentioned we'll be back by today. Hmm. I looked at Yinho, letting him know I looked forward to it. Uh, um, it's not any place weird. What? Weird? Um, it's not anywhere Yuri would take you. A place Yuri would take me? What are you imagining? <laughs> we can come back by today for sure. It's a place children can go. Okay, okay. I don't understand what he's saying, but let's just let it go. Oh, Master, I thought of something since we're here to take the bus. Yeah, what is it? Why don't we take the bus like this on our way to the Academy? I was surprised at the unexpected suggestion, and I looked at Yinho. I feel bad watching you almost escape every time you get off the car. Get out of the car. I hate getting off the car. You get out of the car. You get off the bus, but you get out of a car. Interesting. You can't even get out with me. I hate that I always have to get out first. I want to be by your side all the time. I'm going to need you to simmer the fuck down. Because you're acting weirder than Yuri. I know, I know that that's like because of his backstory and I know that he'll probably simmer down and everything will be okay kind of like Lance was all cold and douchey and then we got him to kind of actually not be cold as cold and douchey you know you gotta simmer the fuck down a little there buds like so I know like they all have their flaws nobody's perfect but the being cold and aloof doesn't bother me the being like kind of obsessive bothers me a little it's a little weird and I, I know why. I know why they did it with him, but it's still like a red... It's like a, there's, a, just, there's just like a giant red flag over here like, oh, we need to simmer this down there, kiddo. There are a lot of people in the bus in the morning, but we can go to school together. I agreed with what Yinho said. The limo was comfortable, but it bothered me that I had to get out every time worrying what others would think. No matter how careful I am, there's no way to escape the jealous looks from all the girls who see me get out of the limo. I feel more comfortable taking the bus, but... Right? I knew it. And if we take the bus, Master and I can go to school by ourselves. Okay, all right. You're right. It's weird for a student to take a limo anyway. But since there are a lot of people on the bus... Until the bus station is fine, but we have to go separately after we get off. I was about to tell him that when the bus came. Oh, the bus is here. That's the one, right? 72? Yes. You know, answered enthusiastically. We got on the bus. The bus goes pretty far. Can't you just give me a tiny hint? I used my charm as I asked. It's not fun if I tell you. You know, looked very determined. That's adorable. He looked so cute I wanted to pinch his cheeks. <laughs> kind of true. He's like, it's not fun if I tell you. You're like, oh, you're being cute now. It's really weird because it goes from like, oh, to like, oh. Like, there's like the cute, oh, that's so adorable. To like, oh, now you're being creepy. <laughs> I'm really not sure how I feel. Uh, just leave this day to me. You'll like it for sure. What is the place to make him so excited? To be honest, seeing Yinho so excited, I thought anywhere would be fine. We rode the bus for about 40 minutes. We got off in an unexpected place. 
but it was a place for my memories. Oh, this is the amusement park I went to when I was little. Like, bitch, who's got the money for this shit? <laughs> Are you surprised? Isn't this the amusement park you talked about before? How did you... This is the only amusement park around here. So I thought this was the place. And the merry-go-round here looks like the one from the picture book. He's so excited. Look at his face. I mean, he, that's the same face he always has, but I'm just imagining he's super excited. Oh, you know, remembered me saying we should come here together one day. Did you think he wouldn't? I mean, he probably knows every single word of every conversation you've ever had. I remembered the merry-go-round in the fairy tale book. I thought Master would like to come here. So I really wanted to take you here. You know, said while looking at me. Wanted to take me here. I would have gotten the tickets if he told me when we'd go. I don't know how long it's been. I said while looking around the amusement park. All right, since we're here. Well, since we're here, let's have a great time. Let's see, where's the ticket box? Oh, wait. I was about to look for the ticket box when Yinho held on to me. Hmm. Ta-da! Nameless. I like that. It's like the name of the game for the amusement park. Yinho pulled out two tickets from his pocket. Two all-day passes. Huh? Yinho, you already had the tickets? I remember the tickets being pretty pricey. Where did he get them? Probably one of his girlfriends. Yinho just grinned. Slab bastard. Oh, it didn't click. Where did you get them? It's a secret. I stole them. So many secrets today. Now stop the boring interrogation and let's go in. Let's go ride the merry-go-round you like so much. Merry-go-round, merry-go-round. The tickets still bother me. But I do but I do want to just let it go since Yinho's so happy. I'll interrogate him later. Later. Where did you get the tickets? No. Yeah, we should go ride the merry-go-round. That's what I mean, come on. You know that's the right answer, but... Uh, okay, so no, we're nowhere. I like to keep check. I know that that's the right answer, but I also want to check, too, because I want to save before we get to, like, where our bad paths would be, you know? So anyway, yes. All right, should we go ride the merry-go-round? All right, should we go ride the merry-go-round? At this suggestion, Yino know, smiled widely. Yes, let's go! The merry-go-round of Master's memories! If I hadn't told him the merry-go-round story, he wouldn't have liked it this much. I'm thankful that he remembers and likes everything I tell him, but I can't help but feel a bit anxious. We went into the amusement park. Uh, I just glanced over at my thing and I just saw the next choice that we're supposed to do and I'm like, I probably would not have guessed that. Hmm. An amusement park? I don't even remember how long it's been since I last came. It's my second time here. Cheerful music and fancy buildings. The place where several characters come alive. Nothing has changed. I grabbed the map at the entrance and found where the merry-go-round is. I mean, it's like right here. It's not that hard to find. It was still at the same location as when I last came. Yeah, I mean, it's like, again, you've like, you're at the door. It's right here. She's next to me like, I wonder where the roller coaster is. It's like right there. I mean, God, she's dumb. <laughs> I know. I know it's just the background and it's not supposed to be the actual map of the fucking place. But I just think it's funny. I like being an asshole. Shut up. Um, you know, kept on grinning for some reason. I think the merry-go-round is this way. I'm so excited! Something from the fairy tale book is actually moving! How would it feel? I really wanted to ride the merry-go-round Master likes. Is there nothing else you want to ride? Because it's going to be boring just riding the goddamn carousel the whole time. I see a lot of other rides that look fun in the park. I tried to plan a route while looking at the map. So it's important to use your time wisely in an amusement park. Let's go to the merry-go-round first. It's the one you like. It was a bit bothered that Yino kept talking about the merry-go-round. It's this way, right? You're usually interested in other things too if it's your first time. Did I excite him too much with my story? Anyways, I headed to the merry-go-round thinking he won't calm down until we ride it. Wow, so big. The picture in the book was really true. It's so big. It has to be this big for a lot of people to ride it. It's big and has a lot of fancy decorations. I look at the merry-go-round of my memories and think for a moment. The little crybaby baby is gone, but the merry-go-round still stands. I see rusted parts here and there, but it's still beautiful. I was feeling nostalgic when I heard Yinho's voice from behind. 
Master, what are you doing? Over here, there's no line, so we can ride it right away. You wouldn't get tickets at the line if you had tickets to the park. You know, shouted towards me. Oops, I made him wait. I hurried. And then you see that weird flashing thing it does? It's freaking me out a little bit. Like, why does it do that? What is it showing that I can't see? I got on the merry-go-round with Yinho. Yinho got on a white horse with a beautiful mane, and I got on a small unicorn. The merry-go-round started to slowly move with the pretty melody. Oh my god, that's adorable, but he does look eight. He looks like a little kid. Wow, Master, I feel like the world is really spinning. Is it fun? Yes, and the wind tickles my face. Wow. <laughs> place of Master's memories. The place of Master's memories. That looks a little bit better. But it's still, because like when you when they do the CGs, right... He does look like he has, like, his frame looks normal, like a normal, and like the hands and everything, they don't look like a child. Like he normally, like if you just cover up his face, this you would look and you could put any of the other guy's heads on there and you'd be like, yeah, okay, it looks like a normal teenage guy, right? And then you see his face and it's like, so awkward because it like doesn't fit. It's so weird. It's nice because he is supposed to be like 16-ish at least. You know, I mean, if we're like, what? She's like probably 17. I think we figured that out 17, 18. So he's like 17. At the youngest, he's like 16. I can't really quite remember what the ages were for like freshman year. I think it was like 16, 17 for Korea. Like when I looked up the thing. So like, even if he's like 16, but he doesn't, his face doesn't look it. But it's so funny because the rest of him does. Like, the way they draw the rest of them, they don't have make them, like, look too delicate. They do, obviously, in the, the sprites, but in the CGs, it doesn't. It, like, fits his age, but his face just doesn't. It just looks like a bit. It looks like you photoshopped, like, a kid's face over a teenager body. It's so freaking weird. It's, like, disorienting is what it is. You know, kept on muttering. Since it's the place of Master's memory, I have to like this place, too. Hmm? I didn't hear what he just said, so I asked. It's nothing. You know, grinned and looked happy. Think of what you want to ride next. Anything I ride with you will be fun. Ah, oh, so cool. I can't believe this is the place of your memories. I want to go everywhere that holds your memories. He keeps on talking about my memories. It'd be nicer if he could just enjoy the ride itself. This moment here with you is like a dream. You know, makes everything be about me. I can't help but feel that's gotten more intense recently. But Yeno looks so happy right now. The melody stops and so does the merry-go-round. Wow, this was so fun. Master, what do you want to ride next? Hmm, I look around the park. A roller coaster goes through a loop. I told him before to think about it and I ask if anything came to his mind. I want to ride whatever you want to ride. You got me the ticket, so I want to ride what you want. Huh? I... You know, doesn't finish. If he got the tickets beforehand, wouldn't he have thought of what he wants to do in the amusement park? You know, thinks for a while and lowers his head. You know, is silent and I take his hand. Should we get something to eat? Yes! You know, smiles and nods. What should we get? Hmm, how about a hot dog? I remember the hot dog I ate when I last came here. All right, you like hot dogs. Wait here, I'll go get it. No, I'm getting it. Master, you just wait here. Okay, then take my wallet. I held up my wallet, but Yinho shook his head. No need, then I'll be back. Huh, but you know, does he have the money? It's a little weird. Tickets and not taking my wallet. I sat on the park bench and thought for a moment. Yino is very kind, and he always puts me above everything else. But Yino's kindness is a bit odd. We rode what you wanted to ride. It's my turn now. I came all this way to ride that. That's too scary. I hate rides that go up high. It only takes three seconds for it to fall down, and if you close your eyes, you'll barely feel it. Hmm? So let's go ride it. I'm still scared. It'll be fine, trust me. Here. It's this way. The couple disappeared far away. That's how it normally is. How many times did I hear the word merry-go-round? 
I wish Yinho would be more honest about what he likes. <sighs> Such a nice boy, but how should I say this? It's like there's a wall I can't see. Master, I got the hot dogs. Yinho smiled, holding hot dogs in both his hands. Oh, you're here. Yep, here, Master. Thanks. Yinho hands me a hot dog. We sat on the bench and ate the hot dogs together. The hot dog Yinho bought, it felt a bit weird. Where did he get the money? Did he get it from Yuri? The tickets, too. It really bothers me. But Yinho doesn't seem to want to say. I feel like he's hiding something from me. But we're going kind of long, but that's okay. Let's not keep it in and just ask him. So when I ate about half my hot dog, I asked Yinho. You know, how are you these days? Are you having fun? Hmm? At home or at the academy? I want to know if you're having fun. <laughs> he didn't really hang out with the girls at the academy and disappeared somewhere as soon as classes ended. Where does he go every day? Oh my god, is he working at the cafe so he can earn money? Maybe that's what he's doing. And he doesn't want us to know. Oh, that'd be so cute. He's like, I work at the cafe so I can buy things for you. And then he wouldn't tell us. Oh, I feel like he would tell you, though, because he'd be like, I'd be a bad boy if I didn't tell you. You know, because his oh, past owner is fucking cray right? But oh, I worried if something was happening. I didn't mean to click that. Of course, I'm happy since I get to be with Master like this. His smile told the truth. But why do I feel frustrated? I shoved the rest of the hot dog in my mouth and suddenly stood up. All right, should we get going? There's a really scary roller coaster over there that makes you scream your lungs out. Let's go ride that. A roller coaster? Yeah, it's kind of like a train that spins this and hangs upside down like that. And of course, it's really fast. I heard it's so scary and thrilling. Upside down? Fast? Train? You know, looked ambivalent. I grabbed his hand and dragged him. We can't miss the roller coaster at an amusement park. I feel like she's doing that on purpose, trying to see if you like. Oh god. Riding the roller coaster, guys. But I'm going to wrap this part up here and we'll find out what happens in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Yeah.